So we have one more case on 27 gauge vitrectomy stratus. Um, this is a case, this is my first case, my first experience with 27 gauge. It's a macular hole. Um, you see the instruments, the sleeve around the instruments that make them stiffer than used to be before, when the first trial. Well, the vitrectomy took me longer. Uh, no difficulties creating PVD, you see, the vice ring there. Expansion of the PVD and peripheral vitrectomy made the cutter um, bent, as you saw. And then I inject the die and started to peel with the 27 gauge forceps, which are magnificent. They're very accurate. Uh, they grab exactly where you want to grab. This was a quite large uh, macular hole, so I followed the technique of Dr. Navroki from Poland, who leaves uh, uh, the, the ILM around the edge of the macular hole. He leaves it behind in order to work as a scaffold to the retina, to the new retina to uh, go and close the hole. And that is how the eye looks at the end of the operation. I think it's a very nice um, instrumentation for macular hole surgery. I didn't dare, I wouldn't dare to try what Clark, uh, uh, Dr. Kleis tried, the difficult uh, diabetic cases, but for macular surgery, I would definitely go for it when I, I have it available more um, in, in, um, in my office, in my operating room. Yeah, I think this is something a little bit counterintuitive, although, it, and, and I think it was also when the 25 gauge became available, that you want to use them more in simpler cases. However, as Carl showed, I think many of the more difficult cases may be much easier done with these cutters because you may have access to spaces that you may not have gained access to uh, with a larger gauge instrument. It's not the cutter. I agree that uh, forceps, we don't need forceps with these magnificent cutters that we have. It's the stiffness of the instruments. I don't think that 27 gauge uh, uh, instruments are that stiff as it is the 25 plus that I normally use in any cases. Any what comments, Carl? Yep. Yeah, indeed, it is not as stiff as 25 uh, plus, and it is not as stiff. Uh, 25 plus is not as stiff as 23. So every different uh, gauge you use needs uh, some time of adaptation. But uh, the more you use it, the more you you feel comfortable with it. And it has limitations, of course. Uh, you cannot do everything with it. But you're surprised uh, that you can do really a lot. And indeed, as uh, uh, Gotsaridi showed us that the, the forceps, the grasping uh, uh, characteristics are excellent, and you, you're amazed what you, uh, how much traction you can uh, exert on the membrane and how, how, how easy the, the peeling uh, works. John? One, one issue as we move to even smaller gauge surgery that is potentially a problem, and I've certainly seen it, is that if you do have to enlarge a sclerotomy to put in this you know, 20 gauge scissor, 23 gauge scissor, if you have a 25 or a 27 infusion cannula, despite the feedback loop on the machine to try to maintain your pressure, you may have periods of hypotony. And so it's important when one sclerotomy is enlarged to be very, very careful that your eye doesn't start collapsing, uh, you know, as you, especially if you're doing a, a fluid air exchange or something like that with a larger instrument, because it's really best to have uh, aspiration matched with the same gauge as your infusion cannula because that way the aspiration uh, can keep pace with your infusion cannula. Yeah, I think you have to keep in mind when you do that, and I think maybe the IOP control on the machine may be helpful to uh, maximize the pressure while you are doing additional suction. Um,